Hey guys, so I recently made some changes to my NeoVim and Tmux configuration, which made my experience even better. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I've done and hopefully you like it. So first thing, let's open up NeoVim and I'm going to go to my telescope configuration. Here you see I have this new function called document symbols for selected. There's a lot of code here, but essentially the best way to show you what this does is to open up some code and show you the experience itself. So here I have some dummy um, Golang code. And let me open up maybe API here. So if I open up a search here with telescope, and let's say I'm going to go to logger. Now, if I press control S, notice what happens. I have this new picker that kind of shows me exactly the different functions that can I can jump directly into. So let's say I want to go to this um, struct here. If I press enter, I'm all the way there. And I can do this for any function, obviously, or for any file. So let's say back to the API thing. So if I press Control S, I can jump to new API service right away. So this is like the first improvement, which allows me to search and then pick the function I want to jump into right away. Now, the second thing that I've done here, if you go here, I've created an extension uh, for the make files, especially in Golang. I use that a lot. Essentially, uh, the code here will parse any make file you have in your uh, project directory and then make them as like an executable telescope things. Here's an example again. So here you see I have this very basic make file just to demo this, just a couple of commands. And if I go to let's say main or whatever, and then the command that I created is make file targets. And if I press enter, you see I can just see all the different commands that I can run here. Let's say on a test, I press enter and it opens up like in this separate buffer here with the results of the test. Now, the cool thing about this is I can save this now. And notice I have the output here called make output test. Yeah, if I open it, you can see it here. So this is super useful, especially if you're like running your tests and you want to see the output and maybe there's a huge um, file to parse. This would be an easy way to just go over it and, you know, keep the results to be shared maybe or something. Obviously, this works with, you know, other things as well. Let's say I want to run tidy. Same thing. That's how this thing works. These are the two things I added to my NeoVim configuration. Now, notice as well, I actually removed the status bar completely because I've noticed I've, I don't really care about it anymore. There's no need to know what file I'm working with. Notice like the breadcrumb up there on the top. It actually shows me what file I'm kind of editing. So that's enough. Now. The only thing that was missing is like the git branch that I'm working with. So I added that to my tmux. Notice here on the right bottom of my screen, there's this main. That's like the branch. And the way this works is I essentially added a single line here. I added this line, which essentially just um, fetches the branch and put it uh, and print it out essentially. And notice there's two new things here that uh, are not necessarily new, but there's two things that I've also been using here that I want to show you. It's these two things here. Now, there are some plugins that you can use to kind of search your sessions and windows and just quickly jump back and forth. And one of them is the this one here by Tmux FTF, which for me, it's like prefix and capital F, and you can just do all this thing. But I had these two scripts as well that I've been using, which is equally handy. So prefix F will allow me to jump between the different um, windows. So and Vim and then Tmux. And if I want to switch sessions, same logic, prefix and then E. And that's how I kind of go between these things. This doesn't require any special plugins or anything. You just need to have FCF, I guess. And the rest is just mostly built in in most machines. So these two things allow me to search sessions and, and windows. So these two things are pretty much the only way I navigate Tmux these days. Now back to my NeoVim. So notice that there's no more status bar, but also I do hide my Tmux completely. And now I have a pretty kind of empty, very minimal kind of editing setup here. No status bars, nothing, all the vertical space that I care about. And in this visual alone, I can see what file I'm working with. And if I want to see the branch, I can just toggle Tmux maybe for a second and then hide it. And if I want to switch between different windows or between different sessions, same thing, all pop up. And what's even better is like the whole experience is based around these pop ups. So if I want to switch between buffers, I have it mapped to space O. 
and I can just use telescope to switch between buffers. Same with document symbols. Obviously, all the different searching things with telescope. So um, even my file system, like the kind of project tree thing, it's also mapped to space E, and it opens up the explorer like this, and all pop up. There's no need to shift or move the code anyway. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you how I've been kind of removing things visually from my configuration and my NeoVim experience. Very little visual distractions, just code. And yeah, that's what I want to show you. Hope you like it and I'll see you in the next one.